It's been 50 years since the War of the Wilds, and still nothing grows on the Kindlelands. The exact day the flora of the world stood up and ravaged the cities of the Greynor Peninsula is lost to the ages, after the Great Fire tore its way from west to east, turning the land barren and fallow, the otherworldly patrons, the guides, and the great cities of the Kindlelands worked together in their own way to bring a kind of peace to a war-torn people. It is a gentle, delicate balance, and something or someone threatens it. Welcome to Another Path. My name is Chase, and I'll be your GM. Today we're picking up right where we left off. The Headmaster is dead. Her assailant, standing over her, and everyone's favorite party of pseudo-deity guardians are jumping into action. Uh, just as a note, we did have a little audio hiccup near the end of Christina's track. It's still perfectly listenable, uh, it just sounds a little bit different. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your trip down Another Path. I Eldritch Blast him. We attack! Okay, that will be your surprise round. <laughs> so what is oh, the attack? Oh, that was a natural 20. Okay. Oh, that was really good. Okay. Math is hard. Yes. That is yes. 21 okay. uh, force damage. Excellent. Nice. Um, so you blast this guy... And he reels back. You get a good look at him. It's not human. Actually, I need I need the three of you to roll me in. I need all of you actually to roll me intelligence checks. Uh, DC fifteen for the three gentlemen, and DC yeah, no. seventeen for my scholar. Fifteen on the dot. Okay. It's ten. Okay. No, that's Seven. only a twelve. I'm kind of stunned struck at what's going on right now. Yeah, Zephyr. I got it. This is a Goliath. Oh. Yikes. Yeah. You know what's not on this side of the wall ever at I'm all? I'm gonna guess Goliath. Fucking Goliaths. Goliaths. Yeah. Holy shit. So you hit this thing square in the chest with a pulse of energy. And it looks at you. I guess not. And I need everybody to make me a, a, a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, this is... I have advantage on this roll because of danger sense. Oh. Addie is the most <laughs> gracious she has ever been. I rolled a 21. Excellent. 18. Excellent. 17. Excellent. 19. Awesome. Thank you. All four of you see... That this guy is reeling back to throw something on the ground. A bright light fills the room. And you cover your eyes and you step back. So you are not blinded this round. You take your arms down. And there's three more Goliaths in the, uh, surrounding you. Uh, oh. Let's fucking do this. Okay. And... If no one else is attacking, I'm attacking Yeah, no, right we're, now. Well, we're going well, into... We're... Initiative. Okay. Yeah, let's get a new initiative. I'm assuming, right? Yep. Everybody roll 17 for... Okay. For everyone's favorite Dragonborn. <laughs> okay. And... Natural 20. All right. Jackson goes first. Uh, Mordecai has rolled a 13. I, my initiative is an 8. All right. So the lineup we have here is... Uh, let's see here. Mordecai and Addy. Okay. So, we have Jackson, Zephyr, uh, all of the bad guys, Mordecai and Addy, going first next round. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Um, i just like to declare I'm using my Warhammer and Stone Shield, not my Big Hammer. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, Chase, can you describe the office to us? Sure. The room is about... Um, we'll go ahead and say 15 feet by 30 feet. Um, there is a massive desk in the middle and there are multiple, uh, what's it called? Um, and there's multiple like filing cabinets and bookshelves and desks, uh, not desks, but, uh, filing cabinets, um, all around the room. Um, so it's some of space. these things are filled with magical objects. Some of them are just filled with paperwork. <laughs> 
great. Okay, Jackson, you're first. So we're on one side of the desk and they're on the other side, basically? Um, the three, the all four of them are kind of scattered around the room and they are coming towards you. Okay, great. I'm going to spend for fighting spirit. Mm-hmm. All right, so now I've got advantage on all the things and resistance to all the things. Micro rage. Yes, micro rage. Um, and then I'm going to attack whichever one's running at me the clo- first. Whichever one that is. Go ahead and roll your attack. Great. Uh, fifteen. Uh, that'll do it. Great. So that's gonna be... Alright, so that's nine damage to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm going to... How Does it look like that does much to him? It cuts in pretty good. That's a healthy chunk right there. Okay. They look angry. It's... It's not the one that Zephyr blasted? Um, and you're not sure. In the... With the flash of light, everything kind of changed around, and they all look identical. Good call. That's weird. Okay. So I am then going to spend my... Nope, I can't. Okay. I can. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay. a roller coaster. Sorry. I'm glad we went on that journey I, with I you. I can still do things, but I'm not going to. Okay. Hopefully I get some op attacks. Uh, Zephyr. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to uh, cast Witch Bolt at the one that's in the place that I thought that I originally shot, like if he's in there, like I'm assuming, I, as you said, that they switched around already. But yep. whoever's in the spot of the one that I already hit, I'm going to hit him again. Sure. Using that witch bolt of mine. Beautiful. So that is um, 17. 17, that'll hit. All right, beautiful. That deals... Uh, 13 lightning damage Ooh. to him. A palpable hit. <laughs> that is- and that beam just sticks on him. And that's my turn. That's going to take us to their turn. One of them is engaged with Jackson, so we will start with them. And first, let's take a look here. That is going to be a 9, which I don't think is going to do much of anything. No, it hits off my armor. Yep. And second attack. Wow. More than like shit. 11? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Okay. And that will take us to, let's see here. The second one is going to go after Zephyr. First attack is significantly oh. better. Uh, that is going to be a 22. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to hit me. Uh, second attack is only going to be a 7, though. Oh, I got attacked twice? Yes. All right, the 22 will hit me, the 7, no. Sorry. Um, that is going to be an 8 damage on you. As this okay, guy I'm still uh, takes that big old right. club and slams it into you. And then the second, and then another one is going to go ahead and try and get a hit off on you. That Oof. is going to be a 12. That hits. And a natural 1. So second All one right, will that miss. One not- Let's see here. And that is going to be 5 damage on you. Noted. Okay, I'm down to 11 hit points at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, Great. And then one more is going to go on to Jackson. First attack is going... Actually, wait a minute, is this only one? He only gets... Ba-ba-ba. Okay, Um, and this one is going to... Uh, that is a 13. Nope. Ting. Okay, and second attack is going to be a... 22. That'll hit. Okay. Six damage on you. Okay, so I take... I only take three. Okay. And... Right, resistance. Mordecai, you're up. Resistance. Um, can I make a quick perception check to see if Headmistress Toreo is actually dead? Absolutely. Um, that's gonna be a 14. Soup's dead. Damn. Okay. Head is caved in. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um... <laughs> Can I? This yes. is a this 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 might be a big ask. So there's two engaged on Jackson, two engaged on Zephyr. 
Is there a way that I Correct. can... Can I position myself in between these groups that I hit the goons and not my, my boys? I will give you a dex check to do so. Okay. If you you have to commit right. to the bit, but I will I will let it go to a dex check. You know what? I just remembered we're up very high in a tower. This would probably end very badly if I decided to use Earth Tremor. I'm going to hold off on Earth Tremor. <laughs> yeah. JK. That would be yeah. a bad thing to do. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, so instead... I am going to, let's see, I'm going to run over to Zephyr, um, okay. so I'm going to attack one of them, uh, okay. do I get advantage because of flank? Nope. You do. Cool. Um, Rethinking that's really turn. good. Excellent. Uh, it, it was really good that I had advantage, I guess I should say. So that's going to be a 23. Okay, good. And then that's going to be... Uh, six damage with the Warhammer. Six damage? Great. Yep. Okay. Oh, hey. Um, when I was attacked, I didn't roll to see if my concentration for Witch Bolt got... Oh, that's right. Yep, you um, did. Broken. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead and roll so your... So what do I do for that? That is a constitution check, and you have to... Your DC is the damage that you took. All right, so th for that first attack, that the first bit of damage yep. I took, um, I rolled 18... Great. So you're probably good there. The second one was an unnatural 20. So you're good. Nice. I'm, my Witch Bolt is still up. Okay. Good stuff. And Addy, you're actually... No, wait a minute. No, Mordecai, you still have... No, you did go. Addy, you're go. Mage armor. Yep. I can't use a spell as a bonus action, can I? Yeah, unless it is specifically a bonus action spell. Correct. Okay. Um... I... I... I I can't I can't cast I can't cast magic magic missile because I already cast mage armor. Jackson, you're up. Great. Um, I'm going to. So there's two guys in melee with me, and the other two are in melee with the other two boys, and Addy's behind us. Yes. Basically. Yes. Great. Um, the two that I'm fighting is one of them worse off than the other. Uh, yeah, one is. Okay, I'm gonna attack that one. Okay, do it. Kill the ads. Twenty three. That'll do it. 11 damage. Okay. Wow. Nice. Does that kill it? No, it's still up. Cool. I action, I action surge and attack again. Do it. Fighter's gonna fight. Natural 20. Yeah! Roll your damage. So, Chase, do I roll twice? Um, roll twice? Uh, yeah. We'll roll twice and double it. 23? The one that is... One of the ones that is coming after you... So you take his attack... And you just lunge back out with your sword. And you pierce him. And he looks down. And he looks up at you. And he starts to change. And he shrinks. And soon you are not looking at a seven foot tall Goliath. But at a six foot tall... Make me an intelligence check. Let's see if you know what this is. Oh. <laughs> oh goody. Oh god. What is happening? Oh, is this one of those... 18. And you're looking at a changeling. Oh, shit. Pallid gray skin, milk white eyes, uh, dark hair. It's just looking, it like holds onto the sword for a second and then goes limp. And falls down. Ooh. Oh, Yikes. Would I have killed one of these before? May have at some point. Totally Maybe. possible. Okay. <laughs> possible. Sometimes it's okay. hard to I'm tell. I'm going to say I probably did. <laughs> this is uh, this is about as alien to this side of the wall as Goliaths are. Even before the wars, nobody really trusted changelings because they could be literally anybody. That makes a lot of sense. No, this is this is another race. I. Um, stab it through and watch it change. I pull my sword out and I shift my weight to my back foot and take parry stance. Yep. And I'm going to quickly shout, Guys, fuck. <laughs> I don't okay. know what that means. Fuck. <laughs> They're... F oh, neat. They're not them. Club. <laughs> 
<laughs> not like not like you, not them, but them, not them. Uh, oh my god. Okay, that is gonna take us to Zephyr. What are you doing? <laughs> um, which one did Ryan just kill? Is it the one that I am currently witch blasting, or uh, the one that you are witch blasting is a uh, one that uh, stepped up to engage you? Awesome. Okay, well then I, I deal immediately uh, nine lightning damage to him because I've okay. been keeping up witch blast then. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to cast mm. Armor of Agathis mm-hmm. on yeah. myself. Gives me five temporary hit points because I'm not doing too hot. Um, and anytime I uh, take physical damage, the person who did that takes four cold damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I believe that is uh, that is, that is that's your my turn, round. and that is their turn. And one of them, let me take a look here. Let me see if they notice. One of the ones attacking you, uh, the one that you've been keeping that witch bolt up on, <laughs> did not notice you did that. So this is probably going to go poorly for him. Um, oh, good. <laughs> first attack isn't going to do jack or shit. Second attack is going to be a 17, so that's going to hit you. Yeah, that's, that'll hit me. Six damage on you. Okay. So okay. I'm down to ten hit points. But okay. he takes five cold damage. He does. Let's take a look here. Second attack on you is going to be a oh natural gosh. one, Jesus and Crow, and a ten. So uh, somebody whiffs totally on you as well. Um, oh, nice! I don't get freebie attacks on on them because they're attacking Zephyr. You get I? you get you know what you do get freebie attacks on the first one I'll because get a freebie you are attack, engaged yeah. with him also. Um, sweet, I'm natural twenty. Okay, go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna do your damage. Bonk him for bonk him for seven damage. Okay, um, he is can holding I, on. Bonk. Hmm. Can I get a a free action um to do something real quick? What is it? I want to uh awaken mine to um Mordecai. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to have him back up. <laughs> okay, what does awaken mine do? That that's how I I telepathy. Oh, it's, sure. It's just what what it's called. So sure. I just want like sure. while he like after he attacks, would be like you're going to want to take a step back or two. I mutter very briefly, bears, but then I remember. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning. There should be one that has to attack me now. Yes, there is, but uh, he is going to take five a five foot step back as to not incur an opportunity attack because he is going to cast a spell. Two. So that is going to be let's see, that's twenty eight. So oh no. Zephyr, oh how no. much HP do you have? I have ten left. Um uh, like max? No, your HP right this second is ten. It's ten. You fall asleep. Oh. Fuck this Kay. asshole. <laughs> As the one who just stepped back from Jackson has cast sleep. Hey Addie. Yeah. How much HP do you have? 30. You get a little sleepy, but it stops with you. Uh, I can't be put to sleep by magic. I'm a half-elf. Oh, Fuck well. you, Mr. Oh, magic. Well, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> but it gets me pissed off. Okay, that's gonna... T- that is gonna take us to Mordecai. Oh, God. So you hear in your head, Hey, a step back, and then he falls asleep. Yeah, so I'm gonna elect to not step back and instead protect my buddy. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna pivot over to Zephyr. Put. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna tap my necklace real quick, and I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on Zephyr. Oh, okay. Nice. So he's gonna heal one d eight okay. plus four. That's an eight. So okay. Twelve. So sixteen. So twelve. Twelve. Oh, and well, just that puts me almost up to max. There no. we go. Look at that. I don't believe so. All right, hold on. But that doesn't wake him up, right? No, no, you've got to... I can't, like, punch him in the crotch and wake him up, right? Like, <laughs> um, No, you can use an action to wake him up, but you would have to use your whole action to do so. Oh, well, I'll just use an action to heal him. And I guess I'll just take it... I'm going to try and position myself in between Zephyr and the Goliaths as best I can. That will take us to Addy. What are you doing? Uh, you said there's three left, right? Yes, there are three left. And the one who just cast sleep is the only one we've seen doing magic, correct? Correct. Okay, I'm about to cast a. I'm about to cast a spell to hit all three of them. But then I like turn and look at the asshole that tried to s- charm me to sleep. 
I kind of swish mm-hmm. my hands around and point my fingers at him, pull my thumb under, and cast a second level magic missile at him. So nice. that is four missiles will hit him. Hey. Okay, just the one guy? Just the one guy, because he's a magic user, okay. and he's an asshole. Fair. Uh, <laughs> so I already, re-ro- I already pre-rolled these, uh, so the damages right. for each four of these is going to be four, two, two, and five. Two, two, eight, thirteen damage. Nice. Mm-hmm. That guy that does not look great. Bip, 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 bip. That'll take us back to Jackson. Was that the one? That was the one in front of me. Yes, that's the one in front of you. S- Malcolm Dad Silver. Okay. Um, I do a quick. Well, that was hot, and then I attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And as I'm charging, I bonus action again for fighting spirit, and a unnatural twenty, ten damage. All right. Nice. Yeah. He he takes that. And then as okay. soon I get up back into melee with him and I shift my stance again, wait mm-hmm. on my back foot, ready to parry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um that will take us to Zephyr. Uh who's who, fast asleep. Who's taking taking a little nap nap. Who's a sleepy boy? A little schnooze. I'm just with my shield up, like staring down these Goliath. Wake up! Very inconvenient. <laughs> And uh, now it is going to be their turn. We're going to go ahead. Let's see here. The first one is going to attack Mordecai. Um, that is going to be, let's see here. Wow. I keep rolling. I keep rolling really well and then ones. So a 23 <laughs> is going to hit you, Mordecai. Yes. And is going to deal eight damage to your okay. face. Ah, my face. Second one is going to attack Jackson. And Great. is going to uh, it's a twenty will hit right, a twenty will hit. Okay, um, and that's not going to be quite so bad. That's only going to be six damage for you. So that's three. Mm-hmm. And then the third one is going to kind of pivot away. This is the one that did use magic. He is going to take a five foot step actually towards the door, so in the okay. general direction of Addie, um, and is going to make a swing at her. Um. That is going to be a 22 and an 11. Uh, the first one will hit, the second one will not. Okay, that is going to be 7 damage to you. Well, that was rude, sir. And now it's your turn, so you can show them exactly how rude it was. Wait, sorry, isn't it my turn? No, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry, Addy, it is Mordecai's turn. Cool, I kick Zephyr in the nuts. Wake up! That's my turn. <laughs> 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 Zephyr, you're awake and you hurt. <laughs> and Addy. Uh, I will cast Scorching Ray on oh, him. Oh, yeah. Because okay. fuck this guy. Do it. Um, yep. Do I have to make an attack for all three of the rays, or is it one attack for... I think it's... Yes, one for all three. Yeah. Okay. Or no, it's three, it's three different attacks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So... All right, hold on. The first one's going to be an 18. Okay. Nice. Uh, the second one will be a 17. Okay. <laughs> the third one's a 24. Oh my god. Okay, those are all gonna hit. Nice. Deal your damage. Alright. Uh, first damage is 10. Okay. Second damage is 7. Okay. Uh, third damage is 6. He is looking very rough, and that is going to take us to Jackson. You've got one directly engaged with you, and he looks very good. He looks good? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I will attack him. Okay. 20. That'll do. Uh, that'll be 12 damage. Ow. Sparkle, sparkle. And I take parry stance again. Okay. Zephyr, you're awake on the floor. I'm awake on the floor. Um, what, uh, I need you to make it an intelligence saving throw on the one that is attacking me and Mordecai. Okay. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, what is my DC? Uh, 13. That is going to pass. <laughs> what? Uh, well, shitballs. Okay, I totally wasted oh. my attempt at casting Phantasmal Force. 
I sit on the Ooh. ground and do nothing. Awesome. Y- you were so close. You were this close, but z- someone did just <laughs> kick you in the nuts literally six seconds ago. That's a lot to recover from. It's true. It's true. That's like you trying to take a business call literally right as soon as you wake up. And that is going to take us to one attacking Jackson. Um, Bring it. Uh, that's here. That's going to be a 13 and a 23. 23 hits. Okay. Uh, that is going to be six damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, I take all of that this time. Okay. And a natural one followed immediately by a natural 20. Who's that one attacking? That one is a Mordecai. Oh boy. Okay. Mordecai, so that Ow. is going to be uh, 10 damage no, as this guy not. just wings into you. Addy. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look here or something. I want you to make me a strength saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. It's a 10. My strength's a negative one. Okay. So this uh, Goliath, um, you hit him with three scorching rays, and he grabs you by the shoulders and Ooh. throws you into a cabinet. <laughs> And tears oh. out of the room. How? Oh, he's peacing? Oh. Okay. Yeah. He's peacing. Okay. How much damage, how much cabinet damage do I, do I take cabinet damage? <laughs> you, you take, you're going to take 1d4 of cabinet damage. You take 3 cabinet damage. Okay. Oh, man. Cabinet damage is the worst. Mm-hmm. It was right up there with stair damage and rainbow damage. It must have been one of those that had all those metal handles. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was a card catalog for the private library. Okay. All right. Uh, Mordecai. I, I can't see the guy who just booked out the door, right? He's out of line of sight. No, he he he's out the door and well, heading downstairs. Shit. Probably. Um, gonna go gonna go all rage anger mode. Uh, do my rage do my rage scream and attack this fool. I have, I have advantage since I'm raging. Um. Do, 15 is my attack. 15? All right. Nope. How do you want to kill this guy? <laughs> uh, You know, just my classic whack-a-mole style approach to things, because even though it's a smaller hammer, it still is capable of whack a moling people super <laughs> hard. I want to just swing it overhand and go straight down on his dome piece. Yep. You, they're my you, favorite. You dome this guy, and swings. immediately as your uh, hammer makes contact with the top of his head, he crumples and becomes a changeling. Cool. And then I would like to spend my movement to rush out the door. You run out there. And Take attempt to be in pursuit, if possible. Okay. Um, go ahead and make me a perception check. Sure. Natural 20. You don't see him, um, but you see a trail of blood heading down and around the hallway. Looks like he's going for um, the balcony. Gotcha. I will I will pursue however much I can. Okay, you go after him. Addy, there is one in the room. Yeah. How bad does he look? Um, Not terrible, but not great either. I'll cast Magic Missile, because I'm running out of spells. Alright. First one's a five. Second one's a three. And that one's on the floor. That does you no good. Um, (laughs) A four. Alright, now he looks very bad. Jackson. Alright, so this one is still in front of me? Yes, there's one still in front of you. I would like to kill him. Okay, I... (laughs) I'm going to let you know right now, Addy made that a very possible opportunity for you. <laughs> okay. Can I can I just declare him dead? Um, what did you roll? No. <laughs> I mean, look. I can, haven't. Can, I just wanted can, to see if you, you would let me do push it. it. It might not do anything. <laughs> that would just be the equivalent of you, like, Babe Ruth in it. Like, call on your yeah. shot. 15. Uh, that'll hit. Cool. 13 damage. Okay. Uh, declare him dead. Yay! <laughs> I declare him dead. So, um, here's so here's what I want to do. I want to um, cut at him 
and not even look and see where the blow ends up. Just assume he will be dead and use the force of it to push my momentum towards nice. the door and just and take off. And and follow Mordecai. You carve into his chest and he falls down gripping where you slashed and you tear after Mordecai. And I'm going to uh, use my second wind mm -hmm. <laughs> because I really need it. Woo. Well, I don't. Um, and I get 10 hit points back. Cool. All right. You uh, you beef yourself back good. up. And that it's takes us to his turn. And, Doesn't okay. that take it to my turn? Oh yes, it, 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 it is. You stand up. Uh, I mean, I, I, I didn't mention that last turn. God damn it! <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, then yeah, I stand up and and attack other. No, there, is, there's no one else around. Shit, dogs. Okay, I get up and I do nothing because I can't go anywhere. Well, you can awesome. use your. You can use the other part of your. You can move instead of attack, so you can get out the door. Awesome, yeah. I'm just I'm assuming at this okay. point in the six seconds you know it's been, I'm probably on Mordecai's heels then. Yeah, you are you and are I'm... running after Mordecai. This guy, Mordecai, you you follow the trail of blood for like just around the other side, and you see um um the blood trail stops at the edge of the balcony. How high up are we? Seven or eight stories. I take a look over the balcony. Uh, make me a perception check. Fifteen. Fifteen? Uh, you see this guy um, because there is a slight magical glow coming off of him. And he is very quickly making his way um, into the city. He is using a fly spell. Jackass. Oh, fudge. And he is tearing down. I would like to attempt to throw a javelin at him. I support this endeavor. <laughs> Go ahead and do it. Disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Um, uh, first one is 12. Second one is higher, so okay. 12. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that is... Uh... Now that's not going to do it. So you see him, and in a rage, you mm -hmm. grab a javelin off your back, and you huck it, and it whizzes through the air and clatters against the wall. I shout over my shoulder, not necessarily knowing they're in pursuit, but just assuming that my voice will carry up the stairs, because I'm in rage mode. He's going down to the city! I'm done. <laughs> and that takes us to Addy. Uh, I run over to my headmaster, who is clearly dead. I... I Soups. try not to vomit. Um, and I call Archie and make sure he's okay. Yeah, I'm right here. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 All right, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go get the head necromancer and we'll see if we can, like... <sighs> go get the head necromancer right now. My oh. goal and my and be safe off. and be safe. Um, okay. Uh, my goal right now is not necessarily to raise her from the dead because I don't know if she's salvageable with a bastion skull, but mm -hmm. she is mm -hmm. the only one who knows where that chamber is. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. if we can get a necromancer here and speak to dead, then maybe we can figure out. Okay, um, I will say that we are now out of combat. Uh, this guy has gotten too far away for you guys to engage, as far as I know, unless somebody has something that can hit very far away. Mm -hmm. My Eldritch Blast is 120 feet. Say, in the you know, round and a half, he's probably been flying. Uh, say, what, the, the flying speed is, what, 50 feet? Flying speed is, flying speed is 60 feet, but I'll see if you can, so uh, you he can would roll be to like make a shot. So he would be, like, just on the edge of my range. Oh yes. Oh my god, please. You can make a shot on Sniper him. Sniper Elite, please. <sighs> Come on. Okay. That's okay. a 23. <laughs> okay. 
Deal um, your so damage. This is just for flavor. Okay, so I you know I, I cook it up in my my right hand where my ring is, um, and I kind of pass it to my <laughs> left one and mm-hmm. sort of put it up like I'm holding a, a, a larger crossbow, not a one handed <laughs> crossbow. Mm-hmm. And I make sure I get him in sight, <laughs> and then pew. Okay. Go ahead and so, deal your damage. That is eleven force damage. So you run to the edge. And you just kind of, you know, you grab it and you pull it and you like a slingshot and you fire it from the hip. Um, <laughs> nice. And you hit him. And you, you don't know if he's dead. You don't know if you've taken him by surprise, but you know you just shot him out of the sky. As he crashes into the heart of the city. I have something I'd like to attempt, if you'll allow it. Okay, um, I will. Are Probably. there any birds nearby? Or at the very least... All right. <laughs> yeah, I like seagulls. the look on your face. I'm going to cast a spell slot on Speak with Animals, flag one down, and it's like... And okay. just, Saphir, you hear weird chirps coming out of my mouth, and I'm like, Hey, birds! I need a hand! Big problem here! Anyone, any hakers, bread in it for you! Roll me a pers- roll me a persuasion check on the seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eighteen. <laughs> yeah, we have done. Yeah. So uh, we have had worse plans, but not many. So a seagull swoops down and lands in front of you. It's like, yeah, what's up, bub? Did you see the guy that just got shot out of the sky by chance? Um, yeah, they're not supposed to be up here. I have like, the- I mean, you guys, like, people, I have people the aren't biggest, supposed to be in my space. flakiest piece of bread in it for you. Huh? An entire loaf. If you can go find where he landed and keep track of him. Just listen for me, okay? Bread's actually really bad for birds. What would you like instead? Fish? Grapes. 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 Can do. Like salt. Salt block. Salt. Salt block. It's a bird. <laughs> It's an animal. <laughs> I and the Christine's bird got some flutters up. It's like I'll I'll see what I can do, but it's gonna come to rolls, and he flies away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bread puns. It takes about five minutes for the head of the Necromancers College to get up there. He's a um like a, a a very prim and proper guy that has very clearly been rustled from sleep by a hawk. He runs up to the top of the tower and he doesn't address any of you guys. He's just moving with purpose and he walks into the room and immediately covers his mouth. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Can, can you? F- oh no. She's the only one who knew where. We got shit we gotta deal with. <laughs> right. And I actually will use sending to let Saphir know that. <laughs> I'm doing what I can to get the location. Ooh. Roll me an intelligence check. Not 20. Mm-hmm. You are about to to use sending to go to Saphir, but you don't do that. You do use sending, and you contact your master, who is a warlock of the Sleeping Seer. Yeah. Because he's been down there. Yeah. Uh, master B, he- he- headmistress killed by things, need you down here for... The warlock thing. Now. That's what I say. That, that is Addy. She would say the warlock thing. He messages you back. Do you have the key? Yes. Go to the gardener's shed. There is a keyhole in the back. I am stuck here. Good luck. Oh boy. What the hell? Uh... God damn it. <laughs> All right. Have fun. <laughs> Alright, I stop my moping and groping and I wait to s- I let the necromancer do his uh, thing. And I see if I can go find okay. the three guys. Yeah. I am assuming, unless anybody has said differently, you are all out on the balcony trying to catch a glimpse of this guy. Jackson took off down sta- the stairs okay. and heard Saphir's shout of Shot him down. I feel sure. like once taking off into the city. Once Mordecai talked to that bird, 
Mm-hmm. We probably tried to make our way down as well. At least okay. Zephyr probably did. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm with Zephyr. So the I'm gonna say you are all down on the grounds then, because you're all kind of heading in the cool. same sure. generalish direction. Uh, um, and you- can I? Um, mm-hmm. I have the um, Eldridge Invocation uh, Eldridge Sight, sure. which gives me kind of a detect magic. Um, okay. let, let's me use it like without expending spell slots. Uh, mm-hmm. Could I use that to like sort of track my magic? Because like ah. I shot the dude down. Mm-hmm. So like maybe if you let like a glimmer of a trail somewhere. Yeah, I'll let you do that. What? Um, so you're sitting on. You go to the edge of the balcony before you head down, and you kind of peek out. Um, and you do see you see you see like a heat signature trail of your magic, kind of tracing through, and you see kind of an explosion of magic where uh, it looks like you know like smoke vapor cool. at this point, where your spell kind of collided with the fly spell. And you see him kind of like spiraling down right about where you thought he landed, but beyond that, you've gotten actually. Let me see something. Um, roll me a perception check. Um, it's a fourteen. Mm. What you do see is that it looks like there was another explosion of mm. magic as he got down closer to the city. Like he cast something else. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, like he did something. He possibly did something to slow uh. his descent. Well, let's go. About five minutes later, so as um, uh, Addy, as you're rushing down to kind of rejoin with the rest of the group, um, the your seagull friend comes back. Hey, bud. And he kind of flutters down next to you, and he looks up as like, right. Um, so I saw him, uh, mm. the, the big one, right? Yeah. 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 I saw him. Uh, it looks like, uh, I mean, you he lost consciousness maybe for a second and then woke back up and kind of started limping away. Um, he's in a bad way, but I mean, he's moving. Which way? A cause west. Uh, <laughs> cool. I go that. I go west. H- head back up there. Hey, do me a solid. Head back up there. If you spot him, just fly down, give us a give us a bit of a guidance. Alright. Ask the ask the seagull to shit on him. That's a great idea, Jackson. Hey, and I Jackson, okay. I say that to I, I'm still new to Druid magic. I say that to you in <laughs> and if you see him, just take a big dookie on him. He's he's a bad dude, killed people. Probably deserves it. I need you all, whoever is going after him, to make me a perception check at disadvantage. Seven. Fifteen. Okay. Six. I'm trying to find these guys. Okay, you're carrying out into the gar- into the yard, and you see them all take off in different directions. And break. <laughs> This'll oh, go well. This is conducive. Yep. Mm-hmm. I make sure Archie is, like, right on me. I don't yep. need this. Yep, this Archie is coming got your, has got his head on a swivel, quite literally, because he's a hawk. Zephyr, you're able, like, because you're able to see your magic trail, you're able to find where he landed. And it looks like, um, and with a quick look around, uh, you can tell that he immediately stripped what he was wearing and took off into the night. Um, which is unfortunate because it means you will probably not be able to find him. But what you do find is his leather armor, which, well, I'm just going to, ha- you know, as soon as this decides to upload to the Facebook group, I'm going to direct you there and you can take a look and see what you find on there because it's it's a little curious. I love curiosity. I love come stuff. <laughs> All right. Come on, Facebook. Get on my level. There we go. There's your curiosity for you. So you... Uh Uh-oh. And you find on there a single patch. There it is. We've seen this before, boys. And girls. And that one patch bears that symbol. Yeah, sure. (laughs) If it's a patch, uh, I'm going to take that patch off. Okay. You rip that patch off and you shove it in your pocket. (sighs) You find him? No, I found uh, he must have stripped uh, to rid himself of whatever trail I was following. Uh, he does have this, though. and So we just need to go find a naked man? 
That should be easy. I'll just ask people. He's probably down to his his more, uh, his undergarments. Uh, (sighs) So. I come running up. So, so does that thing only change once or does it change multiple times? I've never seen one of those before. I think it's weird. They s- a lot, all the time. Yeah. They are awful, they are evil, and they all need to die. That's a bit extreme. We fought them on the wall, they tried to kill us in our sleep, they need to die. Well, yeah, y'all fought shifters on the wall, too, but... So in the time it took for it to fall down here, could it have changed again? Yeah, probably. Well, there's no way we're going to be able to find it. We need to get back up to the school. Yeah, I feel like he's just gone. Damn it. Bird? Anything? I want my grapes. All right. Um, I tell him wherever, because uh, I feel like my spell's about to wear off. It's ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. You're, you're I tell him right wherever we've set up camp. Mm-hmm. I, f- I tell him wherever we set up camp with the final flight and tell him to find me there later. I've got um the head of the necromancy school uh singing if he can contact her. I don't know if we're gonna be able to bring her back with a bashed in head. <sighs> um, but uh we're gonna see You know that is right. fair. Yeah. Uh we're gonna see if we can at least contact her. We head back up to the headmistress's office. Okay. Um, yes, that. And the guy is, yeah. um, the head of the necromancy college is kind of looking down at her, and he's laid her out in a bit more stately manner than just being kind of slumped over, and he's uh, laying a blanket over her as well. And he turns to you, it's like, look, I, I, I can't resurrect her. That is... I didn't expect Resurrection, to. especially in the way that you're thinking, probably. No, I was just wondering if you could contact only- her. I, I didn't think that... For what? I have to have a very good reason to do that, otherwise it could be my head as well. That's fair. Alright. Do we have Do we have a time, Do we have time to get someone else before you are unable to contact The only them? other person that we would be able to get would be my old master, and unfortunately I contacted mm-hmm. him, and he is stuck where he is. What what are you trying to contact her for? Sure. Here here here's a better question. What information are you trying to get? Is she the only one that knows how to do the ritual with the young warlocks? No. I'm sorry, your master would have explained this to you when you were talking with him earlier. Down in the chambers below, there are books of the rituals that you would need to do. Okay. How long does it take? That ritual, couple of hours. And are the warlocks already in the school? They're there, yes. They can okay. be contacted, um, you know, and, and assembled quickly. Right. Where do we do this? That seemed to be pertinent information that only she seemed to know, and now she is uh, deceased. Apparently, Master B knew that. So I turned in the necro- head in the necromancy school and said, like, we're going to wake up the warlock students now. We're going to do the ritual now. I got shit I got to do that the headmistress told me to do, and I got to do it as soon as possible. <laughs> We need to get that guy in my body. <laughs> Let's do it. Phrasing. I right. kind of look at, at Zephyr, and then I look at the necromancer head to see what he thought of that. The um, head necromancer calls his assistant, and assistants are called, and over the next hour, the entire graduating warlock class is assembled and they are explained to um that normally they would have to wait the next couple of days however due to extenuating circumstances uh their the ceremony about their graduation is going to be accelerated (laughs) yeah yeah congratulations today's the day (laughs) i mean we might be able to let you have a speech zephyr Oh, no, no, thank you. Well, no, you wanted to be on stage for the play. Don't you want practice? <laughs> Go be in front of a bunch of people? There is a difference between being in front of people as a, a character and being in front of people as me. People don't usually like me that much, and I don't like people I like that you. much. You're all right. We like you most of the time. I think you're nice. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> you are all all right as well. All right. Uh... No, no, thank you. <laughs> Where does the ritual happen? Does it happen in the school? Does it happen happens in the, in the chapels? chambers? In the chamber? In the chambers. 
the, the same chamber, chamber that they have to do the ritual for. Yes. Um, are you guys going down for the initial ritual as well, or are you going to hang out up here until until all the warlocks are done? Uh, I'll go down. Okay. I'll go. Okay. Sure. I'll sit, I'll sit in the back. Okay. I'll sit in the back and pout. Yeah. Okay. Why are you pouting? <laughs> so try to not distract from the you know grand graduation of all of these warlocks in their life pursuit and just try real hard not to fall asleep and start snoring because that that would not go over so well in the pursuits of uh a certain lady <laughs> right so, <laughs> so i gotta be there all right hold right. on i don't have to be happy about it but there's a greater purpose The four of you enter into the garden, and behind you, about 15, 20 warlocks, or warlock initiates, follow in pursuit. Night has fully set in, and a cool autumn breeze blows. Addy, without a word, you lead this party into the garden shed. Uh, but not into it, but around back of the shed. And just where Master B told you it would be, um, there is a notch that looks like a natural notch of wood. I call Archie and he hands me the key. Jackson, make me a perception check. 17. Uh, you see as, um, this key is dropped into her hand, it, it's a long and ornate key. The top of the key has, th- uh, it looks like three very simple eyes etched in gold. She opens the door and where you should see scythes and hedge trimmers, you see a stone staircase. And you all descend. Uh-huh. The walls the walls are plain, carved directly into the mountainside. Addie, you've never been down here. You've been given a rough primer of what you're going to see, but you weren't ever planning on making this journey without somebody else who knew better. Nope. <laughs> the rough stone gives way to smooth metallic rock as you go deeper. And a few minutes of walking, you step onto a steel-grated balcony. Addie, you specifically avert your eyes, knowing what is below you, and you move to the bookshelf on the far wall where the rituals are kept. Who's looking down? Um, Yo, me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. All the goons. About four stories down, you see a massive, quivering lump of flesh. Oh! In the low light of the room, it's hard to tell exactly what you're looking at. But as your eyes adjust, or as you have dark vision, you see the form of a colossal beholder. Oh god! (sighs) Its many eyes are closed in a restless sleep, surrounded by stone plinths. A single staircase leads below, and the metal seems to echo as the initiates go down. Addie, you've got a book opened up on the desk. And you're going over the ritual rites. It's actually pretty simple. And you're kind of doing some cross-referencing. It's actually pretty similar to what you guys are going to have to do here in a minute. The four of you watch and Addie, you direct them uh, to go down the stairs. And uh, each of the initiates takes their place on a plinth. They change into um, uh, to some comfortable robes. And they lay down on the plinths and they go to sleep. It takes a few hours to get um, all of the initiates moved through. Let's let's wrap. And I pull out my chair. I turn it around. <laughs> Jackson, you, you okay? Sit down. <laughs> That's not how chairs work. It is when you need to have an honest conversation. So I guess m- my first question w- would be, what the hell is going um, on? Murder? Remember... No- I mean, yes, c- clearly. Murder it happened. happened for sure. Brilliant deduction. Murder We're happened. Of you. More. Why is the well, question that is? Someone's going after the 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 the, the big guys. That's the whole reason we're doing this. Yeah. They're saying they're taking extra steps to try and stop us. If you're, what the hell do you want from me? <laughs> I'm just saying they took a, ve- a l- larger, you know. S- Step than I, you know, I thought they're trying they to kill would. gods. What do you well, think they were gonna do? Yeah, they're trying to kill gods. There's not exactly, you know, much precedence here. Well, it, it's just you know, getting the getting the deep was a lot easier than this this time around. I expected it to be as Man, easy as last time. Who would have thought the adventure would yeah, well, get more difficult as we went further into it? 
<laughs> but you know what, Mordecai? I'm not in the mood for your shit today, okay? <laughs> Why don't you take your drum, go out back, and beat it, you I think yep. there's something important going on that I, I should be here for, though. You know, the thing the, down there and... Sh- shut and up. The whole... Okay. It's been a yeah. bad day. Yeah, there was okay. murder. We covered this. It's been a oh bit of a God. day. So, I haven't seen shapeshifters uh-huh. north of the wall. They're changelings. And changelings. Fact, shape, shape, mm. shapeshifters. Changelings. The changers? Better. The changelings. Changers? Sure. Changelings. All right. All right, say it with me now. Change links. The changers, <laughs> them changers. Okay, you're intentionally doing this now. And yeah, that, probably. You get one nose flick. Al, <laughs> that showed you. <laughs> Thanks. We should probably be quieter so we don't, you know, interrupt their graduation oh, yeah, ceremony. I am yeah, so Mordecai's sorry. trying to stifle I laughter after seeing that nose flick. <laughs> I hate you guys so much I sometimes. Know, I swear to God. But if there's... We're talking about people who want to kill the patrons, assuming they want to kill the patrons, mm. um, such that they pretty blatantly murdered the headmistress of one of the most prestigious schools of magic mm-hmm. in her office. Yeah, super rude. Um, also... On a side note, um, remind me to make sure that um, our new friend Addie knows how to put locks on her door. <laughs> it takes a, a very large pair of cojones to pull off something like this. Reminder, locks. Got it. Uh, hey, so out a- of character. Sure. Um, did you pass on the whole thing about his the the patch or whatever? Hmm? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, we should talk about that. Clothes. He had stick- the, the patch with the little snake tongue stick figure dude. Stick oh, man. Oh, oh, Slender oh. Man. Um, yeah. Yes. So we've seen this insignia on, um, well, now this, uh, this dead changeling. Uh, not at, he's the one that not got dead. away. He's the one that got away. Did we ever go check the other bodies to see if they had it? No. I don't think so. You you did not. We sh- should have done that. Yeah. yeah they're, they're probably still somewhere. There's guys, a morgue we can go visit. Guys, we forgot to loot the bodies again. I think it's been pretty clear at this point. We're not super great at this. <laughs> we're not. But um, where else did we see that thing? In the forest. It was in the woods. When we yeah. were surveying it. It was on that really, 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 really old defaced statue. W- was it? Is that what that was? <laughs> uh, no. I thought I, think I found f- it on like a piece of parchment. I think we found it in there. Were, there were uh, those uh, trees the, with a bunch of cages? chains on them or something. Somebody roll me a history check at advantage because it happened to you. Shaboy's got a nat twenty. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. Well, that's good, because <laughs> right. I rolled a two Shaboy and a four. remembers that it was a, on a piece of parchment on a burned body. On a burned body. Okay. Oh, that's right. A- so we've seen this in near Despera. We've now seen it in Norwalk. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other places I have seen it. I can't think of anything. It is pretty new to me. I feel like there's one more, GM. Is there one more that we're missing? Or is this the only other time? Nope. So it's just the two. You know what I think? What? I think that if we are being hunted, or rather the patrons are mm. being hunted, so we, because we have them, well... Yes. Right. I think that if we are being hunted by the people with this um, stick snake insignia thing, that we should come up with a clever name... That we can call them to ridicule mm. them. Because obviously we will win. And probably kill them all. Um, st- uh, why not just the stickmen? Uh, the stickmen? Yes, and not, not even and we- calling them man. They are the stickmen. The stickmen? We stick it to the stickmen? Uh, yes. 
Try saying that. Try saying that a couple times. S- stick it to the stickman. Stick it to the stickman. Stick it to the stickman. Damn it. Stick. <laughs> stick. I messed it up. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, I suppose. This is high quality audio. Oh, here we are. That audio will all be available for you to turn into a cool dubstep remix. Right. Okay. Very good. Anyway. Yeah. Right. And action. So what's going on with this, right? <laughs> so, so what's the deal with these stickman people, eh? Well, maybe we should ask your mom, Mordecai. She might know more about him. It's possible. I feel like you meant for that to be, like, uh, you know, a put-down, but his mother probably does know a great deal about <laughs> who these people are. Oh no! I just I, agree. I just have stopped referring to her as the Arc Druid because you know I run around with her kid because we're buds now. Yeah, can we start yeah. calling? We her went mom? over. We went. You can call her Mrs. Mordecai. That's okay. Really I can. Weird. I'll take it. That's really weird. No, you've never called your parents like your dad, Jackson. Your mom would be like Mrs. Jackson. Or like no, oh. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Jackson. No, <laughs> damn it, no. Uh, Mr. Zafir, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Zafir. <laughs> Uh, are we? No, we're worry. not. Are we? Mordecai. Mordecai. I went there. Mordecai. Mm-hmm. Can't bring up yes. his dead parents. You know this. <laughs> and then I flick Mordecai on the nose. <laughs> not dead. You know, in saying not to bring up my dead parents, you brought up my dead parents. <laughs> oh, shit. I said I'm sorry. My. Damn this is just to remind everybody that this conversation is taking place about four stories above a massive sleeping beholder and a bunch of people taking place in a really creepy ritual. Yeah, you know. Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Just watch silently? They're all sleeping. If I mean, that was know, an option. It's not like, fair. well, actually, do you think we could wake him up <laughs> early, accidentally? That seems bad. That seems bad? That seems bad. No. Well, okay. What? Well, I guess to get serious here, then, if we wish okay. to track these people down, I would say we have a good, uh, good lead here. We go to those woods where we last saw a thing of this nature and fan mm-hmm. out from there. Well, I mean, but we have another job to do. I mean, at, I mean, at, at some point, I'm not saying like now. Oh, it'd okay. be a side quest. Like our vision quest? Oh, no, that's a different also thing. Also that. I still that got we need a long I, weekend I pull for. up my, my really gross, like, wrinkly plastic bag of, like, these dried up bugs. And, like, <laughs> I'm ready for <laughs> us. Anytime now. <laughs> we need to wait until Labor Day so we get a long weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, it's yeah. coming that'll, up, though. That'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so yes. are we, uh, where do we go? So we're going to go get um, Sleeping Beauty down there. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, who's next? Yeah, and then what do we do? I don't know. I'm kind of along for the ride. Also, like, I'm also wondering, like, Zephyr, you're going to have both of the ones you're responsible for now. Should we, like, lock you away somewhere secret? <laughs> Or, I mean, am I just going to become some awesome immortal in which I can't be touched? Come at me, bros. Well, that'd make we, our job a lot easier, that wouldn't it? would be much easier. I mean, I can't just seem to make things out of nothing now, like, and I make a pretzel. Like a, <laughs> like a soft pretzel. Oh, good. Snacks. With, with my deep powers. Uh, that was an excellent use of that for the day. <sighs> It's still warm. <laughs> uh, hey, Chase. Can yes. I make a check or perhaps just know where the other, like, what other, the other patrons associated cities are? You absolutely can. And actually, you know what? You don't even have to make a, t- a check because you would have been told this. Mm-hmm. This probably would have been drilled into your brain before you left. Yeah. Uh, you have Gaia in Plains Watch. You have the General at Concetre. Bulwark has the Forebearer. So Bulwark and Plains Watch are the ones that I will wind up getting. And Correct. Cons- 
Con, con whatever is <laughs> the other one for Griff. Uh, the general, which would be mine, yeah. Yes. The other fiend. That is all correct. Okay, cool. Is this written down somewhere? Like, that we can see? Um, I've got it. Got well, it, I have it written out at the okay. very least, yeah. I I have it right here. <laughs> um, and if it's not on the back end page for you all, it will be by before too long. Cool. Thank you. Yes, I've actually, happy to help. I've actually checked that a couple of times during the... I like to pull that up during the game. I will try and keep that available. And hey, listeners, if that's... If the campaign guide I gave to these folks would be helpful for you to have, let me know and I'll make that available on the public S- one some and make it look tweets. pretty like. Don't, yeah, don't at yeah. me, at Chase. Or, or yeah. I mean, you, you can, you can right. at Ryan, but only to tell him how great you he can is. at me. Absolutely. You can right. at me. That's the only reason. All right. So here's kind of my thinking sure. is we'll wrap things up here. Yep. I think we continue along the coast or by road, whatever makes sense, because we're going to need to go back to Despera to get through to Con- uh, Concetre. So let's just take the north half of the uh, the area, knock that out of the park, maybe stop by in the forest on Despera on our way through, and then make our way south. That makes sense. Sure. Yeah, we don't want to have to travel through those mountains. Hell no. What's the name of that mountain range? Really bad base? mountains. The the big ones. Um, the, the middle one? Uh, the spikes. The spikes. We don't want to have to travel through the spikes more than once if we don't have to. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, if for some ungodly reason we have to actually traverse the spikes without going through Concetra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's bad news bears. Yeah. Well, plain and simple, we cannot. We're charged with, you know, this this traveling band of performers. Also Their fair. wagon will not make it through the mountains. <laughs> Very fair. Also true. Hey, y'all. Sorry for keeping you. Uh, well, it, it, it's fine. Things are weird. Having like, a bunch of godless warlocks seems like a poor idea. So, yeah. Although, so now, do they, will they, like, follow you around, Saphir, after we get the Sleeping Seer, like a bunch of... Now they like, can use like their magical powers, baby ducks. they'll be on their merry little way. They won't be following you around, trust me. Saphir, are you a magic mama duck, if they're all going to follow <laughs> you around like this? <laughs> ducks. I, I, I would not say so. I mean, like, for example, I could do my stuff... Anyway, I don't always need, like, I didn't have to be in Despera always. Not Despera, in Lorata always. That makes sense. Same thing with these guys. They can go wherever they want. I am just here to look after their dude. Zephyr, I think you're missing the point, though, and that is the image of you as a duck, which is hilarious. Yes, especially with your chicken legs. Yeah! You're halfway there! Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, for real, uh, though, don't bring up my legs anymore. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how all this magic stuff works. Nobody in my family ever had magic, so, you know. Well, as far as warlocks go, soldiers. once they're pledged to whatever person they're pledged to, they're allowed to go on their merry little way. Kind of like you've been wandering around with Severe here. So anyway, are you guys ready to do this thing, whatever you guys got to do? I guess we... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, totally forgot about that. We've been that. piddling around. Yeah, we should. Sure. So they're all done, okay. then? We're ready to go yeah. down, then? Yes. Addy? Yes. Okay. Yeah. While you were talking, the last of them uh, walked up the stairs and filed out. So I... it is it is just the four of you down with a giant beholder. Man, that is a sight to behold. Sorry, I need to backstep for just a second to acknowledge Zach Rob's excellent pun. Thank uh, you. God. Uh, oh boy. Zach Rob, that's my job. Addie, you have read the ritual, and it's almost the same thing. Uh, you need to descend into the room. You all need to put the robes on, find a plinth, and you will fall asleep. Now, that is going to take you into the realm of the Sleeping Seer. However, once you've gone through the realm, the Seer is going to try and tempt you. It's going to try and tempt each and every one of you to wake it up. Under no uncertain terms do you wake it up. A single staircase leads below. 
The metal seems to echo as you go down, but becomes more muted as you descend. The creature towers over you well before you finish your descent. The four of you wordlessly slip into alcoves and change into your black and hooded robes. Already you can feel sleep try to wash over you. Um, as you head to the plinths, each of you notes the larger altar in the center that rises above you, with a small pedestal in the center. I do all of you uh, go immediately to the plinths and go to sleep. Uh, Yeah, I do. I make sure they know what they're doing before I go to my little place to fall clunk. I'd probably say a quick word or two to the deep, because this is going to be a uh, a rough time. So some yep. guidance is nice. Do you speak out loud, or do you, like, think to it? I probably think to it. I probably do have some, like, with that, the whole thing with my ring. So you... Uh, you know, you're, you're just thinking, it's like, hey, can you send me, hey, can you send me some good vibes? And you're like, just kind of like absentmindedly taking your ring on and off just to try and, you know, get something. But you're finding it's hard to get a hold of, even with the deep riding shotgun. It is, seems to be hard to get a hold of down here. Got you. And Jackson? I say a quick prayer to the guardian and I turn the plinth into a little bit of an altar. I put my sword on it, mm-hmm. do a makeshift warrior altar, and uh, say a quick prayer for the patron that we're about to try to suck into Saphir's body, but also, you know, for us to not royally screw this up. All right, make me a religion at advantage this time. Rel- religion is still a negative one for me, but that's an 18. Oh, wow. Hot damn. Hot damn. All right. Um, you crawl up onto your um onto the plinth and grab your sword, and you kind of like lay with it, like in state, almost. And you feel, you know for sure now, you feel a glow. There is, you feel a presence in your hands. You are, you're going into this as protected as you could be. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. That, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. that's real nice of you. You could have done it a little sooner. And I shake my fist good naturedly at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But then I end, right. I end the fist shake with a thumbs up. <laughs> Excellent. So as nice. you, as you go into the thumbs up, you fall to sleep. Zephyr, you sit in a library with books piled high around you. You catch a glimpse of the nature of the patrons. The name on it is obscured, but you know you've seen it before. You stand to leave. The light brightens around you, and you're standing on the top of a mountain, looking at a massive tower you know to be Concentre. A battle rages around you, and when you turn, you find yourself in bulwark, looking up at finely dressed people on a balcony. You bow low, with a sneer on your face, and when you stand... You're in darkness again. A long hallway with a glowing sense of apprehension stands before you. This is what it was for. You will finally have justice. Jackson, you're on a ship. A fast one. Yourself at the prow and you're looking at a barren coastline. As you round the bend, you see your home. Planes watch, covered in vines and a massive, unnatural tree growing in the middle. You look over your shoulder to see a garden of statues, vines twisting around them as you watch. As you peek around the statue, bearing a familiar face, it grows dark. You see a massive bonfire, something suspended like a scarecrow in the middle. You feel proud. You blink. You see a pretty woman, with a smile like sunshine after days of rain. You see children running around in the yard, You pull from your belt a scythe. Your sword is resting above the mantle, and you turn and walk out of a door. Mordecai, you stand in the woods, surrounded by dilapidated buildings. The scene feels familiar. When you turn to get a better look, you find yourself in a stone room. Light filters in from upstairs, reaching down a long hallway. Scorch marks creep down the walls. At the end of the hallway, you see the symbol... You move to investigate when the darkness fades. You find yourself deep in the woods again, 
this time surrounded by fellow shifters. Zephyr and Jackson are there too, weapons drawn and clearly unnerved. You're pleading, and as you bring your hands to your face and let them fall, you see the grand palace of Bulwark. You're in the finest clothes you've ever worn. You move to address a young man on a throne, and for a second you catch a glimpse of a man in chains, far too large to be necessary. But you're going to fix this. Damn the consequences. Addy. You're creeping along a mountain range. A confidently moving gnome guides your steps as another woman takes point. A massive half-orc guards your rear as you watch from a distance as people make offerings to a giant moving scarecrow. You turn back to an amassed crowd, and you're in a dimly lit dance hall. You twirl with a man who dances with the confidence of a king and the grace of a cow. And it all falls to fire and blood. You stand in an unfamiliar office, looking down at a series of diagrams depicting squid-headed men. You frown. Not one of concern, but one of deep thought. Your master comes in with a stack of books and paperwork and hands you a key, telling you that in no uncertain terms are you allowed to use the lab that the key leads to. He winks, and it isn't much, but adventure and respect is all you ever wanted. The four of you step out of your visions into a room much like the one that you just fell asleep in. Your visions were your own, although you can all see the final seconds of everybody else's as you walk into the room. Smooth stone lines the walls and ascends far out of your view, and in the center of the room is a massive pile of pillows, and sitting on it, a beholder. Not a massive one, uh, but about the size of a beach ball. And it smiles at you. Well... Hello there. Uh, I'm Carrie. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hi there. Hello. Hello, Terry, sir. You hi. said. Carrie with a K. Oh, hi. Hi there, Carrie. How are you all doing today? Could have could have had a better day, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, um, where are we? Where? Where? Yeah. Uh, where? Yeah. Uh, you're, what? you're you're in my dreams. It's it's so nice to have company. It's been so long. Um, is it time to wake up yet? No. No, that's not go- that's not that, that no, no, it's not. Oh, I really was hoping it was time to wake up. I- I really miss helping people. I mean, you're- you're a patron for war, no. so you help a lot of them every day, so way to go. Oh, oh, I suppose, but it's not really the same thing. I miss- I miss getting my, well, my eye stalks dirty, I guess. I mean, I guess that sounds weird, by the way, if I put it like that. And he waves, like, it's got, like, like seven or eight eye stalks that it's just kind of, like, wailing around at you all. But it seems incredibly friendly. Well, we are actually here to help you, um, Zephyr. And I kind of give Zephyr a little shout forward. This Hi. is all you. Mm-hmm. Hi, we are here to invoke the Rite of Ages. Oh? Oh, that doesn't sound like fun at I... all. Don't you? Wouldn't you rather wake me up instead? What if I told you it was actually super fun? It's the funnest. We're great. <laughs> a great group of, of uh, compadres, and we are here to bring you along for the ride, eh? I, I think I would rather be awake instead. Come on. Come on. Or, come on. How about this? I can... mm-hmm. What if we do mm-hmm. the Rite of Ages thing and then you get to not die? Because people are trying to kill all you guys. If I was awake, I'd be so much better at defending myself. Yeah, but the world could be a little maybe not good. Um, so I'll tell you what. You're going mm-hmm. to bind yourself to me, well, my body. Mm-hmm. You'll be free to do whatever, mm-hmm. but you can come along for our party bus. Things are great. I now look. I I'm not gonna lie. Sounds tempting. <laughs> really does. <laughs> Absolutely. One hundred percent. However, let me let me bounce this one off of you. All right. If I'm awake. I have so much more power. Not right away. Not right away. And I promise I won't get you into trouble. 
Not right away, at least, at least. Not until I can help you out of it. it- can you remind us where mm-hmm. it was said that we don't wake this boy? Uh, in it was the in the ritual book, book, right? It was in the ritual book. It's part of the part of the description of this ritual is don't wake him up. I just wanted to double check that. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. But let me let me bounce this one off of you for you. So you wake me up, and I will give you all the things you want. Well, not all the things, I suppose. That would be asking a little much. But I can give you all of the things that you just saw in your visions. Adventure, oh. a safe home, all that kind of fun stuff If I, for if I may, Caddy, mm-hmm. I only saw, a, a, you know, the tail end of your, you, you guys' little flashes there. I feel like mm-hmm. mine is probably the most positive. The others seem quite um, nightmarish, if I may say. And I don't really want to take mine. So... What you're saying, Terry, is you'd be able to give some answers? Well, hold on. His name's Carrie. Oh, sorry. With, with yeah. a K. With a K. Sorry. Yeah. Carrie. Yeah. You'd be able to yes. provide some answers? I... As we get closer, I can provide some answers. Even in, you know, in my current state, prophecy, kind of touch and go, as it is. Um, It takes, you know, it's one of those things where the closer you are to seeing something, the easier it is to see. And we're kind of far out from some of the stuff I showed you. I showed you some pretty good ballparks. I can definitely get you 80% of the way to what I saw you there. There might be some other stuff along the way. And honestly, I can't promise you won't die beforehand. However, I can do everything in my power, which, if I'm awake, is considerable. Yeah, but you can't... To make sure that you get there. But you can't fully promise that we'll make it through. And that, in there lies my point here, Carrie. In that, we're pretty confident in what we do. At least I would say so. Do you agree, my friends? I mean, I'm pretty uh, good at killing things. There we are. Um, I don't do much besides I, that. Mr. Uh, uh, <laughs> Carrie, my my new good friend, would you mind if we uh, took a second to confer with my companions here for a sec? Absolutely. Absolutely, of course. I mean, either way, I should probably start packing up. And Carrie, who up to this point has been sitting on a massive pile of pillows, uh, starts rooting through them and pulls out a uh, a tiny suitcase and starts like <laughs> sifting through and packing things with away. This tiny suitcase cool. right. and jealous of his massive pile of pillows. I t- I turn you guys around and then just just kind of do a little huddle. Um, so I'm sure you could probably hear everything we're saying here. Right, I just wanted... It, it's a but, symbolic gesture. But we definitely um, can't trust this, right? We're, we're not waking him up. Am I a part of this huddle? Yes. Sure, yes. if you want to be. Yes, you are. You had a vision. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just... There's something There's something I just wanted to say. Like, I I understand that, that the whole point of this thing is to be tempted. And, like, I, boys, let me tell you, I'm not one usually that gets caught by that. But, like, I'm not being tempted by like wealth or love or anything like that i'm just pure gosh darn curious and like i'm not gonna take it i know that's the thing but like what the hell i just gotta i just needed to get that out there. i mean yeah no it's very weird and it you know it, it might y- you always wonder why or you know or what if you know if you did wake up the giant fleshy beholder man but i feel like it's probably for the bad. Well, right. I, but man, I he did a pretty good job. I I hear you, Mordecai. I'm I'm. Ugh. This is a hard one. All right, I just needed to I just needed to shake that out. Get that get that out there. No, you know, didn't want to keep that pent up inside. All right, cool. Anyone else want to say anything while we're in this nice little group huddle? I love you guys. Uh, really? Just with all my heart. Just, I'm not gonna get into it. Just. This it's okay. <clears throat> um I would like to do two things. GM. Okay. <laughs> GM, I would like to do two things. Yes. Um Yes. Uh the the first is I would like to make an insight check on Saphir to see if he was telling the truth right there. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> if he really loves us. 
Yeah. Go for it. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, Zephyr, do you, do you need to make a deception roll? No. Hey. Okay. You're, you're the, the, you know the, what? The lovable and, and hateable brothers that I never wanted. But okay. you know. So it wasn't, yeah. it, it, that was not Zephyr it was trying not a, to a say what you did. Genuine, yeah, it was not a disingenuous, you know, gesture. Yeah. He did. Okay. Zephyr wasn't okay, being great. a dick. He, you're, you're his skin brother he never had. Yes. <laughs> I, I know you haven't known uh, Addie that long, but Addie feels included and, and she has a little brother. smile on her face. I, I do miss oh, the headmistress. That are you guys sure you're gonna be okay with this thing with you? Cause seems like no. the more go- like things you can't collect, the more in danger you're gonna be. Here is, as I said earlier, it's strange that you would think that the adventure would get easier. All right, so <laughs> my, my can I make philosophy. Listen, I've never of been life. on an adventure before. I'm curious. Uh, oh, they get harder. My philosophy of life is is basically this: that I haven't died yet. So who's to say I'll die tomorrow? All right, mm. whatever. Yeah, that's that's not bad. I kind of like that. GM, you can, can use I... that all you want? Just give me G- cur- just give yeah, me some. GM, here's for my it. here's my second thing. Um, in in the vision that uh, Jackson ha- saw. Um, it said there was a familiar face on the statue. Can I make a roll to determine if I know what or who that is? You may. What roll am I making? History at disadvantage. All right. Ooh. Um, so I've rolled a natural 20. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Like the two rolls I've um, done today. And, and disadvantage. So I rolled a five. Oh. Oh. oh, fuck oh. Yep. Um, Sad trombone. Yeah. Fam- someone from Planes Watch. Maybe familial? Hard to say. Okay. That's enough to know at least kind of where to place something. That's unfortunate. Yep. Great. All right. Addy, okay. you got anything while we're in the huddle mode? I miss my headmistress. I'm sorry. Yeah, she seemed all right. Okay, so this is where we... And break. All right, there we go. Okay, and break. <laughs> Terry. Okay. Terry. Sorry, does, Terry. Does any... Terry. Yes, with a K. <laughs> we will will <laughs> not be <laughs> taking you up on your offer, and we'll continue mm-hmm. with the rights of ages. All right then. Well, just in case, um, how about this? You can keep your arms stuck out there like that. I'm gonna go ahead and dim the lights. Anybody that might still be tempted, they can leave then. Just wake up. It'll be pretty easy for you, since I'm letting you do it. Um, if you decide to wake up, just go ahead and ring that little bell on top of the plinth, and I'll wake right on up, and don't worry, I won't get you in trouble either. Wink! And when he winks, it's all of his eyes at the same time. It's real creepy. <laughs> that's just, that's just ah! I was going to ask. <laughs> um, it's wrong! Yep, it's real bad. And then suddenly the light in the it's room so goes out. As Addy says, oh, that's so wrong. Um, and if anybody <laughs> wants to go ahead and wake up the seer, go ahead and Facebook message me. Ryan, what have you done? That sounds like a Ryan rolled to see if he was going to do it, and I feel like he failed it. And now he's going to go okay. do it. <laughs> Two, Ryan, what have you done? Three. Uh, four. Okay. And the lights come back up. Oh. Well, damn. Well, all right, then. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go for a ride. And he rushes towards you, and you think he's about to extend one of his eye stalks to wrap around your arm, but instead he chomps down on it. You start screaming, and it's very embarrassing for you. <laughs> um, and your screaming, in f- in fact, wakes everybody up. You s- all sit up with a start, and oh. you look over at Zephyr. And Zephyr, you roll up your arm, and you see a nasty bite mark on the arm that does not have 
absent uh, colored tattoos on it. And instead, you have eyes going all up the arm, tattooed on, but they're still blinking. Oh, God. Oh. I'll never be able to sleep again. That's really not right. That's ironic, I'm so- Sophia, because he's the sleeping seer. <laughs> you've got a long sleeve cloak, right? I mean, it, you're yes. gonna you're gonna need that. The four of you ascend the stairs. You all have stuff to think about, even though you didn't end up taking Carrie up on its offer. What Carrie said about prophecy is that the sooner something is going to come up, the more likely it is to be true. The fact that that weird mark that you found on the patch was also in some familiar-looking woods, Mordecai. Um, go ahead and make a roll for that, actually, Mordecai. History? Yep. Advantage. Okay, first one was 15. Second was 10, so 15. Yeah, 15. That's more than enough. It's it's the same woods that you guys were in. Mm-hmm. It, it was uh, that scorched hallway. Those scorch marks were from... From Zephyr's fireball. And third, and potentially most importantly... Something's happened to Plane's Watch. Thank you for joining us here on Another Path. You can find our website at anotherpathpodcast.com, on Twitter at anotherpathpod, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash anotherpathpodcast. We had a wonderful growth spurt on the sundry social media pages, and if you haven't jumped on there, now is a great time. Also, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, make sure to rate us on Apple Podcasts and tell a friend about what we have going on here. You can find me on Twitter at TQLoudly, Ryan at Ryan underscore Albrecht, Griffin at GriffCold, Zach at that guy, Zach Rob, and Christina at Phoenix Stargirl. One final thank you to Christina for spending some time with us on this adventure. We'll be back in two weeks with a new episode, and until then, remember that it is in fact rude to call warlocks ducklings to their faces. <laughs>